Hello, I'm James Haskin. Welcome to the PokerStars Daily Roundup from the Bahamas. So, the 2014 PCA is underway. 39 events over nine days here at the Atlantis Resort and Casino. And it has kicked off with the Super High Roller, a tournament which costs $100,000 to play. Yeah, Bahamas. All the heroes were in attendance, all the big names, including Elke, looking for the PCA Triple Crown. He's won the main event, he's won the high roller, but that super high roller title has eluded him until now, and it is still eluding him because he went bust at the end of the second level of the day, losing his stack to Justin Bonomo, who became the early chip leader. Meanwhile, up on the main stage, we had Mike McDonald, an EPT main event winner, and of course, a super high roller regular, along with the self-proclaimed best player in the world, the most recent World Series of Poker main event winner, Ryan Reese, and Guy Lillibate, another high roller reg, who of course is also the founder of Cirque du Soleil. He was the first player to rebuy. Mike McDonald sent him to the rail. He came back on his second bullet. Things didn't work out from there either. And now he is on his third buy-in. That's right, he is into this tournament for $300,000. Well, Mike McDonald continued to boss the feature table, getting the better of Ryan Reese on more than one occasion. And Reese finally exited in a very dramatic three-way all-in coup. This hand started with a raise from Tobias Reinkemeyer, called by Reese and Newey. Newey checks the flop. Ryan Kamaya checks as well, no continuation bet. Ryan Reese makes it 11,000. It's all spades, 8-6-5. <coughs> Newey has called. And coughed. <laughs> Action now back on Ryan Kamaya, the man who started this all off pre-flop. How do you do this, James? Like, day in, day out. Heavily medicated. <laughs> all in. Ryan Kamaya's shove is for around 69k. 60. It's like 23 big blinds. That's 20s. That's 22 right I'm sorry if I yes. whine about this during the week, but the lack of all-in triangles is massively tilting. It's one adjustment that needs to be made to the PCA oh, there's ASAP. There's no triangle. No triangles. Jesus Christ. See, Theo thinks it's bunk as well. It yeah. is bunk. Last time you complained about the wrong and you got it swapped. That's right. Yeah. There's a lot of power this Now guy. there's nobody, like... There's not even a single triangle. Can we borrow the PokerStars Fat Cat's blimp and get some all-in triangles flown over here <laughs> by tomorrow? Unfortunately, the blimp is uh, involved in a and we got a government call. overthrow in another part of the we world. We get to see some cards. Well, hang on a second. We've got Paul Newey in this pot as well. Reese is not reshelved. He's just called the 69K. This is such a tough spot because... He's in! Yeah. I go. And he can look very stupid if he's up against the flush, which he... Wow. Like so wow. Nui reshoves for 309k. Reese has a king high flush or something like that. Huh? And Rankemeyer is pretty much drawn dead. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, well, both these guys are have either of those cards. very likely so to go broke. Uh, Definitely Ryan yeah, Reese. Reese is going to have a little on, problem so getting out of this. Seven of spades, four of spades. <laughs> <laughs> and our first wow. song of the year. <laughs> our first chop pot song, at least. Well, that'll do it. A good card. Double knockout. Right. Paul Newey's nut See plush guys. holds. Yeah. Tobias Reinkemeyer will have to reload, as will Ryan Reese. The World Series of Poker main event champion, the self-proclaimed best player in the world, is heading for the exit. What a hand. Meanwhile, out in the field, Antonio Esfandiari was sent to the rail by Dan Shack. Igor Kurganov went broke shortly afterwards, but he was able to buy back in. Towards the end of the day, the eliminations came thick and fast. Kerry Katz went broke. Daniel Negreanu went broke. Both players came back in, but Daniel Negreanu on his second bullet lasted a whole 19 minutes. Chances are we will see Daniel at the start of day two. Remember, the registration period doesn't close until noon, the start of play on day two. We might also see John Juanda. He inquired about the rules on re-entering the tournament. As things stand right now, 
45 unique players with nine re-entries, but that number is set to rise. Of course, tomorrow we can expect final confirmation of the prize pool and the payouts. Coming into day two, the chip leader is Martin Finger, the most recent EPT Super High Roller champion. Second in chips, Max Altergott, who won the Super High Roller in Monaco at the end of season nine. Our live coverage will start at noon Eastern Time, Monday the 6th of January. Make sure you watch the live stream on the PokerStars YouTube channel. And of course, you can follow the whole PCA festival on the PokerStarsBlog.com. Follow the guys on Twitter as well, at PokerStarsBlog. I'll catch you soon. That was actually, you're not nearly as strong as I thought you'd be. That was nothing. <laughs>